What is up you geezer blow tie geezers, it is Chris Marder Games here and welcome to another retro gaming video. It's been a while since I did e even did a video on this channel, it's been like a week. I'm so sorry that I haven't uploaded a video for a long time. I mean, you know about us YouTubers, we all need to take breaks here and then. And uh, well, I just had a nice little break and now we're going to be playing some more retro games and we're going to tell you exactly what we're playing today. So ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Bucky O'Hare. This is... A game that's based off of the cartoon series from the 80s. Uh, this is a game developed by Konami. This was when they were actually decent. Well, not like right now, where they're complete and utter assholes. And they uh, allow Hideo Kojima to just uh, walk out on them. But, however, what we're going to be playing is quite simply a real gem in the NES library. This is not only a difficult game. This is not only a very fun game. But this has some of the best music in any NES game, and I'm not even kidding when I say that. This has got some of the most kick-ass music. And I'm going to sort of uh, talk a little bit about the actual game, what you're supposed to do. It says here, Bucky O'Hare and his crew have been attacked by the evil toads, and his crew have been captured and are being held on four colour-coded planets. It is up to you, Captain Bucky O'Hare, to rescue your crew and use their unique abilities to rescue the others and take down the toad menace. Let us croak us some toads, ladies and gentlemen. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. Let's go! Alright, here we go, guys. Bucky O'Hare and his crew, Blinky, Deadeye, Jenny, Willy, uh, fight. I can't skip. To save the an- the, the Aniverse. I thought that meant- I thought that meant to say universe, but it's Aniverse. Or maybe it's anime. Because I think Bucky O'Hare is a bit of an anime somewhere, isn't it? From the Toad Menace. Oh, One day a transport bringing Bucky's crew. This is some of the best music. Listen to this. Isn't that just so kick-ass? One day a transport bringing the Bucky's crew in the Alvary. Yes, can we just move this on? Move this along. The Toads kidnapped Bucky's crew. Yes, so we got to, each and each one of the crew members have been captured. Uh, Binky is capped off on the green planet. Deadeye. Deadeye? Huh. Maybe he has a gun and he says it's hard. No, no, no. Deadeye is sent to the red planet. Jenny is held at the blue planet. Well, Willy is held on the yellow planet. Yeah, because so the, the, the planets are all color-coded. Haha, Bucky O'Hare, your friends are mine, you are next. Yes, okay, whatever. Bucky escaped the toad armada by a hair's whisker. <laughs> by a hair's whisker. <laughs> now he must save his loyal crew from enslavement by the terrible toads. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the stage select screen and we get to choose what planet we, uh, we want to go on. So I'm gonna go the green planet first, because obviously it's the, um, it's the, it's the, the smallest one, I think. Now, I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, this game is a very, very hard one. You know, it's not just like, it's a very, it's very, it's very satisfying, you know, moving around and shooting enemies. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say this game is easy. This game is extremely difficult, and you'll find out exactly why later on. I think I've actually played this game before. Um, even before I'd even thought about making a video on it. Like, I had to use a lot of save states to be able to get through levels. Yeah, it's that hard. So I really do hope that I'm able to get through this with no problem at all. I want to see if I can get through this as, as, as quickly as possible and as easy as possible. So that, so that's the first part of the, that's the first part of the first level. I think there are like, f oh my god, they're wasps. I think there are like four parts to every stage, and you have to get through them. So the 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 the, the mechanics, the way you shoot things, is is very satisfying, and you know you can get through stuff fairly easily. I mean, I'm not saying this game is easy. Obviously, I've already just said before that it's very very difficult. Um, there is this one there is this one part of the level, or it's one of the levels. I think it's on the blue planet, where you have to you have to discard a couple of ice blocks and it took me quite a while to figure out what how to get through them and well you know it's one of those games where you just you go through it you go on a specific part of a level and you have no idea what to do and how to get past it but uh yeah this is this is a very 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 good game it's been recommended by quite a lot of um nes fans and people that have, that have got youtube channels that are based on nes games whoa and of course this of course this is a game that uh requires a lot of value on eBay. I think some of these games, some of the uh, the prices 
for this game. Oh god, I just died. This game warrants a lot of money on eBay. Uh, I think this- I think the last time I saw this game on eBay, it was like worth- I think it was like worth 70 quid on eBay. It's, yeah, it's that expensive. You know, there's a lot of demand for this game. There's a lot of replay value. It's all about the replay value. If you want a good game- Oh god, don't- I just died again. On the same- on the same bit, no doubt. Right, I've got to concentrate because I'm losing- I'm losing lives here, so- Whoa! Okay. Alright. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I'm gonna get through this part. Mm. Oh god, there, there, there are some of these platforms that fall- fall down. And there are others that don't. Alright, this one doesn't, thank god. Alright, here we go. There we go, you just gotta wait, you just gotta be patient. There's one up there. Give me that one up. Yeah, come on. Yeah, so it, it, this reminds me a little bit of that Atari game. You know, what's, what's that called? Junk Jungle Hunt or something. Okay, why would you want to put a one-up down there? There's, there's, like, no way you're going to be able to get that one-up and survive. I absolutely hate games that do this. You know when you see, like, a one-up or an extra life, and you see it there, and there's absolutely no way you could get that unless you do something magnificent in the game. Mega Man does this. I don't know if you've noticed, when you play Mega Man 2, there's, like, a few extra lives in the game, and you can't get anywhere near them. It's, ugh, it's so annoying. Right, anyway, let's continue on with this. Uh, I think... Yeah, there you go. So you, 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 you stand on those. Hopefully. I should hopefully get through this unscathed. Hopefully. Oh! Why did I do that? Was that because it was a, there, was a, there was a life there and I thought that was going to be... Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I brutally sucked at that. I hope I can continue on from that first part, right? Right? Oh, thank God, thank God. I was worried that I'd have to restart the entire level. Alright. Yeah, th there are some platforms that just fall and others that don't. It really can catch you off guard sometimes. Alright, can we jump on that? Yep, nice. Yeah, you just gotta be patient with this game. I don't know what made me think to actually be impatient with this. Alright, there's the one up. Can we get that? Yeah, alright. Whoa, this game's glitching out now. <laughs> Okay, so the thing is, the thing is with this game is if, if you don't know what you're doing, if you like literally rush through it, you're never gonna get through it. You just gotta be very patient with it. All right, come on then, Bucky, let's get through this. Well, right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get that. Oh god, there's no way you can avoid those enemies, is there? Unless you just, Ugh. yeah, there we go, just, just blast them. Now, when you rescue your teammates, uh, after every, really. Yeah, as I was saying, when you rescue your teammates, um, when you, or after you completed the level at least anyway, you rescue one of your teammates, you have to use them in order to get past certain obstacles. So every single uh, character in the game that you rescue, they have a specific ability that they can use, and it will help you get through levels. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you what those actually are, because, well, I'm so bad at this game that I can't even get through the obvious stuff. I'm probably just going to show you this level, and that's about it. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you more of this if I can be patient enough. Alright, nearly there. Right, there's that Kaizo platform that I just st stomped on. Alright, that's cool. There's a, there's a one up down there. Now, I'm willing to bet that platform that I'm about to jump on is probably a Kaizo one. No, it's not. God damn it. Who in their right mind would actually go for a one up that's so difficult to get at? Right, so this is, uh, this is obviously uh, the next part of the level. Can I jump through that? Oh no, oh no. Alright, these, these falling rocks can hurt you, so that's 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 fine by me. As long as you just fo focus on... Uh, okay, alright, alright, whoa! Okay, yep, yep, that's all fine, that's all fine. Oh god, whoa! Wah! Okay. No, stop running, no, stop running rocks on me! Alright, so this is the next part of the level, I do believe. Okay, how the hell are you able to dodge all this? Ah! Come on! Alright. Ah, uh, there's no- there's no way. Oh, you can jump- you can shoot up. I completely forgot about that. I might as well just die. I might as well just die. Because at the end of the day, I can continue on with this and get half full life anyway. I'll lose a life, but it's- it's better than just going through without any life at all. Oh my days. Now I can't even get through anything at all now! Right, if I- if I stay patient... Yeah, you see- There's like obst- there's like projectiles that you just can't dodge. Ugh. Oh, come on! No! Ah! Right, I'm just gonna be patient with this. 
Look, look at the number of projectiles that are coming at me. It's just ridiculous. How can you just... How are you, how are you able to dodge any of this? Alright. Ugh. Ah! Oh, stop hitting me! Oh my goodness me! All right, jump. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to sift through this and hope that I don't. Wait, I can. Can I jump on these? I, I can't actually shoot these, can I? Oh, it just gives me life anyway. Well, that's that's handy. All right, so this is the first boss. I've completely forgotten how you kill him. Well, yeah, okay. Well, he just kills me in one straight hit. That's 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 handy. Right, we're gonna have to figure out the pattern here. How the- Oh, oh, that's how you kill him. Oh, I see. I don't know how- Oh, what? Uh, I, I know how to kill him now. I know how to kill him. I've just got to be- I've got, I just got to be a bit savvy. I've got to be savvy. Oh, come on, man. I've got this. I've got this. Chill, man. I've got this. No. Right, just got to avoid that big block. There's no way I can avoid the the um the rocks. I just got to got to hope that I don't hope he kill hope I kill him before he kills me. Mm. Come on. I don't think I, I don't think I've done this. I don't think I've done this. Yes, I did it. Mm, come on, boys. Come on, boys. We've done it. We've done it. Woo. Okay. All right. That's level one done. That's the green planet done. Ah, yes. Come on, boys. Thank you, Captain. I've rescued a toad weapon that will smash walls of ice and stone. It also acts as a rocket pack. Captain O'Hare allowing you to- Oh, it allows me to fly, right. Except Bucky O'Hare doesn't wear it, it's- 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 it's him. Password is K7TZJ, I'm never gonna remember that. But okay, thank you very much for the password. Right, so the green planet- We're not gonna go to the red planet yet, we're gonna go to the blue planet. Just to have a look at what the blue planet is, and I think we'll probably end the video. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop right here, and I just wanna let you listen to the amazing music. Isn't that just so amazing? All right, let's continue on with this. All right, so this is the blue level. Right, so what you can do is you can press the select button and it'll turn into your good friend here. I can't remember his name, what's his name? Uh, uh Blinky. This guy's name is Blinky. And uh, what he does is he gets rid of ice blocks. I'll show you in a minute. There you go, so once you, when you do that, it blocks, it takes away ice blocks. And there you go, nice. Awesome. And this is what, this is what you're able to use to get through all the ice blocks and everything. And like I said, every character that's in the game has their own ability to help you get through levels. And well, this is one of them. Um, I don't know how you get through. What the? Get, get. Ah, go away. Right, there we go. Right, that's that's exactly how you do that. So you just get rid of all these, all this horrible looking stuff. This, this ice. Actually, no, I, I like ice. I love ice. Right, so this is the next part of the level. Let's see if we can get, what? Hey! All right, let's go. Let's go on that block, on this next one, then that next one. Oh, damn it! Well, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Let's go on that one. On that one. Yes. Oh, right. I see. Okay. That. That. Fair enough. Right, jump on that. No. Oh! Maybe you've got to select him, Bucky. Let's select Bucky. Let's try and get on this part here. Oh, what? How the hell did he manage to? God, I need to get through this bit. It's okay, guys. We're going to do this. We're totally going to do this. Come on. Oh, right. Okay, so you just got to wait. You just got to get there before the serpent gets there. Yeah, and then I collect it and then I die again. See what I mean? This game is very, very difficult. You can't just rush the entire game. You just got to be patient with it. Um. Ugh, okay. No, 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 no. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay, what do I do now? Okay, we can't really do very much. Wait, what? 
Oh, come on now. Yeah, I had to die because there was no real way of getting through that. All right, so we jump on that. Oh my god, how do I... How do I not mess that up? Oh, come on, I went through that. Mm! Right, let's start this again. Let's just be patient with this. <sighs> right, let's go. Let's just try and be patient with this. Right, jump on... Oh! Right, jump. Jump on there. Don't... Oh, God. Hmm. This is going to be... This is going to take me a while, guys. This is going to take me a while. All right, wait until that comes out. Then... Jump onto that. Then jump onto that. Yes! There we go. Whoa! Okay. Right, so you got you got to act very fast. you got to act fast. This gives you absolutely no room for error. It really doesn't. Right, we're going to try this one more time. Yeah. This is this is not easy. This is not easy at all. All right, jump onto that. Okay. What? I didn't jump on that bloody head. I didn't, man. One more time. One more time. Oh my god. Damn. I can't move properly. What is going on? Oh my god. One eternity later. All right, right. One more time. One more time. I'm, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. All right, jump onto there. Jump. Ah! Uh, I knew it. I knew it was gonna come at me. I knew it. See, I panicked because I knew where the thing's gonna go, and I don't know where to. No. Uh. Jump now! Oh, I jumped, man! Come on! Jump there. Yeah, there we go. I did it. Why couldn't I have just done that before? Why did I make that so bloody difficult? All right, one up. Give me a one up. Give me that one up now. I said give me the one up. There we go. I got the one up. All right. Mm hmm? I don't want to make this video too long, but you know what? You, you know, uh, right. This will be the last game over. L next game over we see, that'll be the end of the video, guys. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, these these ledges are very difficult. They're, they're very difficult to get on. Uh, right, here we go. God damn it! Okay, right. Oh god, this this is so slippery. Any any mistake that you make could be costly. Now, nah, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I am literally done, lads. And ladies and gentlemen, this was Bucky O'Hare on the NES. This is a very satisfying game, very good music, very good 2D side scrolling, very good visuals, but it's goddamn hard as shit. This is a very very hardcore game. Now, this is a game that, you know, only hardcore players would be good at. So, yes, if you really like this video, if you like playing this game back in the day, then let me know. I mean, I don't really get very many views on these on these videos, but uh, it would be nice to at least have somebody write in the comments and just talk about this game and let me know what you think of the game. Because, like I said, this game has a lot of replay value. It's very, very expensive on eBay. And, uh, well, if you are very hardcore with your games... This is something you're definitely going to be getting into. So yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at ChrisModern9. Check me out on my Google, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitch, and of course, my eBay store. Make sure you click on the notification bell if you want to be updated with any videos I intend to do in the future. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we're all human beings. I've been Chris Modern Games. Until the next video, I shall see you later. Hey, door. And peace.